What's Happening Hoax Show is filmed before a live audience and is brought to you by nunboys.com and GPS Photography and Video, gpsphotoandvideo.com. What's happening, Hope? Glenn Young, and we are at the Rockfish Community Meeting. I'm um, beside Sheriff Hubert Peterkin. Good to see you, Glenn. Sheriff, great night tonight, wasn't yes, it? Awesome, awesome night. So glad you could make it. Yes, sir. Uh, Sheriff, the last 48 hours has been a blur. Uh, yeah. If you can, can you comment on uh, the current murder investigation of the 17-year-old, the 600 animals that were taken from uh, the Haven, and even the uh, uh, student that uh, took a knife to school? Well, first thing I want to say, thank you for for having me. The, I want to say to our public, anytime we have a homicide, mm -hmm. a murder, it requires our officers to use almost every detective to work. And the first 48 hours is critical. And so what I'm saying is they have been out there working almost nonstop, taking very little rest to try to, ch to chase uh, leads, and they're doing a good job with it. The unfortunate thing with the, with the homicide is we had our, already been investigating the Haven right. for months. So that was scheduled to go the, the, the morning uh, before the morning before the actual murder. Right. So what, what happened? That caused our detectives to go split in half and go in two different directions. So they're, they're really having a tough time, uh, but they're getting the job done, and I'm proud of them. So the Haven was a sad situation. Yes, it was. Actually, sadder than people know. Mm -hmm. um, we have not um, posted any photos. Um, probably at some point people will see them, but it's going to be something that you're not going to be able to deal with. It's, right. it's really sad for those animals. I feel like as a uh, law enforcement official, we have an obligation to those animals just like we do people. Right. And so we're taking this very, very serious. Now, let's talk about the homicide, the murder. Yes. The 17-year-old, the investigation shows that the young man was from Sampson County, Clinton, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and, it appeared that, right, and it appeared that he was brought to Hope County to kill wow. and then dumped out in our community. Mm -hmm. So, but the, but the officers, the investigators are doing a good job. Sampson County Sheriff Office is working with us and Clinton Police Department is working with us and they're doing a good job. Right. Sheriff, I tell you, it's great being out here. So glad you took the time. Final uh, question. Rockfish community, uh, amongst the other communities, are being victimized by vehicle break-ins. Uh, can you speak to that? What should people be doing? What should they be more cautious of? The one thing, and I'm glad you asked, mm -hmm. lock your car. Yeah, <laughs> that makes it easy. Okay. <laughs> lock your cars. A lot of these b and and vehicles, people are leaving the vehicles unlocked. Right. Okay, and the ones that's not unlocked, mm -hmm. don't leave anything that's Good. tempting. Right. right. If you got a GPA, GPS in your vehicle, don't leave the amount on the on the on the on the dashboard. Don't leave the case on the seat. Come on, don't right. do that. Right. Don't leave uh, large packages and things like that on the seat. That's enticing. Smash and grab. They knock the one out. They go in and take the stuff and keep running. So. And then also try to park your vehicle in a well-lighted area. Right. So that's that's that that's, that that kind of turns your your break-in people away. You're being the artist. Uh, you asked me about the knife at the school. Yes. We had a we had this was at um, Sandy Grove Elementary. The elementary. We had a little guy yeah. that brought a Swiss Army knife to school. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody tipped off the school, um, and then they uh, contacted the sheriff's office, and we was able to apprehend the knife from the young guy before he did anything with it. Is this going to be something that the student hopefully can recover? From. Yes, oh yes. Uh, we talked yes. with Kristen yeah. Newton tonight, she talked yeah. about yeah. one of the bills that she had right. going to give people a second chance, right. and that's critical. Well, it is. She has really done well. I know this firsthand. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and the one thing I like about her deferred prosecutions, mm -hmm. she's fair. Right. She's not catering to one race or one uh, one status group. She and she focuses on that. Right. So she's done so many five, six, seven hundred of them. She's done a lot of those. And what the main thing she wants out of it is, if she gives a second chance, right. is that the kid takes it yes. and don't take it for granted. And she monitors them for several months or a year. And if once that they're, they're done with it's supposed to do, it's gone. Yeah. But this kid here was young. He's under 16. Right. So he's a juvenile. So more likely he'll receive some type of uh, assistance to keep make sure he doesn't go back in the right that wrong. Good to hear. It. Sheriff, thanks for the yeah, update. Man. I know yes, you're busy. Yeah. Great night. Wonderful. Tonight with elected officials Wonderful. and uh, keep yes, doing sir. what you're doing. Appreciate, Appreciate you, Glenn. You. Yes, thanks sir. a lot. Perfect.